Dan Larson here, and I'm at the photo booth with some of the oldest soldiers in my collection. Uh, I don't really have everything in my collection out on display uh, at the time, be uh, all the time, I, I mean, because in many cases, it's uh, it's pieces like this which I really just uh, hold on to for sentimental reasons. Uh, they are beat, they show scars, uh, they have been worn. A lot of them uh, aren't even pictured here because they don't even stand up. They're only parts of things uh, uh, that uh, can't really be displayed anymore. Uh, if they were meant, maybe I'd have them out in a Daytolf case or something, but uh, I mean, these are pieces that I've had since I was a very, very young collector. Um, many battles out on the playgrounds, getting thrown about in boxes, under beds, backpacks, taken to school, whatever happens to an actual toy over their lifetimes, especially when they're in the possession of someone who likes them and uses them. Uh, if you follow me on Instagram uh, or uh, here on the channel, which I hope you do, and if you don't, please start. Um, I'm Toy Galaxy over on Instagram. Uh, the oldest piece in my collection, of course, is uh, vintage three and three quarter inch uh, Boba Fett number one. Um, back to, well, you know when that figure came out. But uh, as far as these are concerned, these are probably the next oldest. Uh, right, right up front, we've got uh, God Sigma uh, from uh, these are they're all from Japan. Uh, Good condition, mostly. Uh, got some. He's got like these uh, rubbery, rubbery kinds of uh, points on his head that uh, I'm surprised are still here. He's got this removable chest plate that uh, I'm surprised is still here. He's got like a little diamond uh, gem right there in his chest. Uh, I'm shocked uh, that he still has both of his fists. Uh, he used to have a set of wings that went on the back here. Those are long gone. Sword, and I think he came with a shield. Not 100% positive. And of course, he had uh, panels that opened down here with uh, little rockets and stuff. Those are long gone as well. Overall, he's still in uh, you know, pretty good shape. He was a combiner, I don't know. The bigger one, actually. There's like a blue robot, the yellow robot, the regular robot, and they all transform into one guy. This one didn't come apart, though. Uh, next up, we've got uh, Small Gundam. Uh, my, my favorite version of Gundam, the ARC-78 uh, from the uh, He's uh, He came in a three-pack. It was actually Gundam, Gun, uh, Gun Cannon, uh, and then Gun Tank, who looks like this, but uh, this isn't from that set. This is the... Bandai uh, version from a few years back, but uh, they all come together, uh, and the way this works is uh, my favorite was Gun Tank, uh, so he's long gone, just totally destroyed by play. Uh, second favorite was Gun Cannon, uh, and he's next most worn, broken parts up here, missing his feet and stuff, uh, and that leaves Gun Dumb uh, as uh, the, the sole survivor because I played with him uh, the least. Fists are gone, laser sword's gone, bazooka's gone, all that stuff's gone, but uh, overall, look, I mean, <laughs> he still has his... Uh, his uh, helmet V here, which uh, I'm surprised that's still there. And he's uh, the legs are removable, so I can't even believe that uh, those are still here as well. All things considered, he's uh, he's not in bad shape. Uh, and then, whoops, his leg just came off. Uh, next up is Larger Gundam, uh, who uh, is also in just, just beat up, worn, stickers peeling, fist is gone, deck helmet V is gone, uh, the chrome here that was on his knee pads almost entirely gone. Uh, there was a clip here, a switch or something that uh, helped uh, help it stay together because it does separate and the core fighter comes out, which uh, the only reason I've still got the core fighter is because it, it stays in the actual body of the Gundam. Um, and uh, unfortunately, the way the transformation worked on this uh, is that there was a piece that went in here. The, the nose of the core fighter goes in here and then you can shoot it off like a missile uh, or to remove it so that when it transformed to be the core fighter, uh, would actually fit. Uh, unfortunately, that piece is long gone as well. Um, I always loved the core fighter the most, more than the, the entire Gundam assembly, uh, and I'm sure that piece is gone because it played with it too much. Uh, next up, we've got uh, Panther from Sun Vulcan, uh, one of the earliest uh, Sentai shows. Sentai, if you're not familiar with it, those are the Japanese uh, Power Rangers. Uh, they did at least, I think it was 10 or 11 seasons before they hit the season that became uh, the Power Rangers. Uh, this team was three characters, Eagle Shark Panther. Panther was my least favorite, so <laughs> just like with the Gundams, uh, he's still here, pretty good shape. Uh, all he's really missing is he had a, uh, a scarf, uh, and he had a holster here for his uh, gun sword, uh, whatever it was. Uh, but uh, he's still got his hands, his fingers, which are uh, open and closed. A little bit of paint wear, a little bit of paint wear on his chest. Uh, he's also mostly die cast. Uh, Eagle was second favorite. His legs gone. His hands are gone. Uh, all same same wear and tear here. Uh, and then uh, of course Shark was most favorite. And like Gun Tank, he is long gone. Uh, after that we've got staying with Sun Vulcan. We've got the Sun Vulcan Robo. Uh, not in great shape. Ear busted off. <laughs> Missing fists. Chrome peeling. Missiles gone. Uh, he still transforms okay. Uh, you can. Uh, do I even remember how to do this? Uh, 
Uh, oh, yeah, press that button. Those come out. Uh, I not really under understood what this was supposed to be. Uh, just some sort of mechanism. It's not really a vehicle, per se. Uh, but these things connected together like that. These open up. These... Oh, look, a little piece just came out. Um, anyway, <laughs> these flip over. And then originally these had uh, little chains that... Uh, oh, this one's actually broken. I'm trying to open it up. Got, like, shovels here. Like, I don't really know. I don't really know what this thing is supposed to be other than legs legs in disguise. I can't even say it's in disguise. Like, what is that supposed to be? You'd be like, it's a giant robot thing, but it's got rockets here. And Shark and Panther drove that. And then uh, this was uh, Eagle course because he's the leader and he's red. He gets the cool jet. Um, this, uh, wow, it's been a long time since I transform this thing. Those open up. Uh, so he's got his landing gear there. Uh, it doesn't really, at this point, uh, the pieces don't quite stay where they're supposed to go. But, uh, you know, over all things considered, that's actually in pretty good shape. There were two rockets that went here that uh, sort of completed the look there. These do not, like, tab into place or anything like modern Transformers. But uh, uh, all things considered, not uh, not bad condition. Uh, over here we've got Zabunguru. I think that's how it's pronounced. Zabunguru. Uh, X-A-B-U-N-G-L-E is the Roma G or English uh, spelling of it. Um, giant robot, same old story. He's missing some wheels here. Uh, everything transforms. The only reason he's still got his rubbery antennas on here is because in transformed mode, it actually collapses into the torso, so that's how I usually have it stored. Uh, and then I'm shocked that I still have a fist for this thing. Uh, but when he changes, this would collapse. There's a little jet thing here that would snap in here. And then this became sort of like a truck thing. He's supposed to have these panels that flip open uh, to make wings. These can pop up very easy. There we are. Uh, these pop up. They have tiny rockets and stuff, and this cockpit opens. And if I remember correctly, it actually came with a little figure uh, and whatnot. And then this would uh, transform. And again, missing pieces here. Uh, still surprised that it's in the, the condition that it's even in. Used to be a cockpit here. Uh, and then this would be like there was sort of a nose cone that attached onto there, and so this was like a car thing that would uh, drive around and have wings if necessary, but uh, these would uh, fight bad guys, space aliens, monsters, all that stuff. Uh, last up, we've got Death King. Uh, he's got a Japanese name. I meant to look it up before I did this video, but uh, I didn't, and here we are. And for the longest time, I didn't know anything about this guy. I didn't know where he came from or what he was, or if I was the only person who actually knew that he existed on the planet. Um, but uh, there's actually some... There's a, I believe there's a commercial on YouTube for it, uh, and some old uh, ads and acting uh, pictures and stuff. But uh, it's a pretty simple thing. Uh, it's just this, just this giant robot who... Uh, you know, I don't, I don't know anything about it. I don't know his story. I should probably look him up, but it's one of those things where I'm like, I don't really care. Just look at him. That's What do I need to tell you that you can't already see? But he's got these things that uh, close up. There's a piece that's broken off here. And then as far as transformation goes, uh, just, just comes out. There used to be a big brick of a magnet that's stuck in there. We never really understood why it came with a magnet, but these are metallic here, and the magnet could slit it, slip in there. Uh, and then this kind of keeps it locked shut, and then the legs pivot forward, and ta-da, it's, these pop out, like that, and then it's a, uh, it's a, it's a space tank jet robot thing, uh, and then this little jet, uh, the magnet thing could also fit in here, and it could plug on there, uh, it's got a busted off wing, rockets that are long gone, and if I remember correctly, there's a button back here, Press that, and that struggles to open, uh, and there's a tiny little guy in there who kind of looks a little bit like the giant robot. I don't know what the story is, but uh, this okay, goes with that. Uh, and those are, the <laughs> those are some of the oldest pieces in my collection. Those are the ones that were at least uh, camera ready and could at least be presented. Uh, in some capacity here. Uh, anyway, thanks for watching. Please uh, don't forget to uh, like, subscribe, share. Uh, let me know in the comments below what your oldest, what, what's the oldest piece in your collection? Is it robots? Is it, is it something that you, you don't even like anymore? Let me know down in the comments. Anyway, thanks for watching. Later.